ஹலோ குட் மார்னிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹவு டு யூ டூ ஹேட் யுவர் பிரேக்ஃபாஸ்ட் ஆர் லஞ்ச் ஆர் யூ என்ஜாயிங் த செஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் அட் த சேம் டைம் ஆர் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் அண்ட் ஃபாலோயிங் த லெசன் ஃபைன் ஐ வாஸ் அவேர் அண்ட் ஐ வாஸ் எக்ஸ்பெக்டிங் த சேம் ஆன்சர் யூ வுட் கிவ் தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் so far you have completed whole theory part just we will have a summary and then we will solve some problems numerical problems from question paper how the question paper problem can be solved what was the theory we have learned so far case 1 when the object is stationary how to find out the force exerted on the flat plate when it is normal to the jet fx is equal to rho a v squared we have studied and also we have studied the discharge how it will be separated while gliding over the plate in both the directions upward and downward q1 upon q2 ratio of discharge 1 plus cos theta divided by 1 minus cos theta second case when the plate is inclined to the jet fx is equal to rho a v squared sin squared theta and fy is equal to rho a v squared sin theta cos theta when the plate is curved let the jet striking at the center we found out fx is equal to rho a v squared 1 plus cos theta fy is equal to minus rho a v squared sin theta when the plate is curved jet striking tangentially and the plate is symmetrical plate is curved symmetrical and the jet strikes the plate tangentially fx is equal to 2 rho a v squared cos theta whereas fy is equal to 0 similarly next case plate is curved unsymmetrical wherein jet strikes the plate tangentially then fx is equal to rho a v squared cos theta plus cos phi when it is unsymmetrical we have found out that there will be two angles making with the same direction horizontal axis at inlet it is theta at outlet tip that is while leaving the plate after glided over it it will be phi therefore rho a v squared whole multiplied by cos theta plus cos phi whereas fy normal to the jet is equal to rho a v squared whole multiplied by sin theta minus sin phi where rho is the density of the fluid small a is area of jet where small d is dia of jet velocity of jet theta is equal to v is equal to velocity of the jet theta is equal to angle made by the jet with x direction or at inlet tip as already we have studied tip angle of plate phi is equal to angle made by the jet at outlet tip and so on we have seen very clearly okay this is the this summary at the end of the theoretical class further when the object is moving so far summary about stationary plates flat plate curved plate when it is held normal when it is held inclined etc now we will see when the object is moving with uh, velocity u velocity u we will consider first flat plate flat plate is normal to the jet held normal then fx is equal to rho a v rho a whole multiplied by v minus u squared work done per second in the previous case since it was stationary work done is zero because when nothing is moving no work done suppose if we move from home to bazaar we will bring some sabji or ration that means some work is done for the home when we are sitting at home that sort of work done will not be exist 
that's why no work done in case of stationary in case of moving there will be work done that is always considered as horizontal force that is force in the x direction multiplied by u that is velocity of the vane per second when series of plate series of flat vertical plates because with a single vertical plate moved work done will not be effective work done will takes place but it will not be effective to utilize the full fluid power or force that's why we have to put the plates or mount the plates on the periphery of the wheel then we get fx is equal to rho a v whole multiplied by v minus u flat plates inclined to the jet then we get fn is equal to rho a v minus u whole squared sin theta and then we can resolve into two components fx is equal to rho a whole multiplied by v minus u whole squared sin squared theta and in y direction that is perpendicular to the z direction fy is equal to rho a whole multiplied by v minus u whole squared sin theta cos theta in that case work done per second is equal to again fx into u where fx we have to take rho a v minus u whole squared sin squared theta we have to ignore fy because that will not be useful for work done then plate is curved jet striking at the center fx rho a whole multiplied by v minus u whole squared multiplied by 1 plus cos theta work done per second is equal to we have arrived rho a whole multiplied by v minus u whole squared here multiplied by 1 plus cos theta it is the force in x direction multiplied by velocity of when u we get equation fx is equal to rho a v when series when series of curved vanes fx is equal to rho a v whole multiplied by v minus u multiplied by 1 plus cos theta when plate is curved striking tangentially and the plate is unsymmetrical then we get fx is equal to rho a v r1 whole multiplied by v1 plus r minus v w2 positive sign should be used when beta is obtuse angle less than 90 negative when beta is greater than 90 that is obtuse angle this is acute angle sorry when beta is less than 90 it is acute angle where beta is greater than 90 negative sign is to be used that is for obtuse angle when beta is equal to 90 degree then in this equation fx is equal to rho a v1 vr1 whole multiplied by vw1 plus or minus 0 because vw2 vanishes and hence efficiency we can calculate it as work done per second whole upon kinetic energy per second work done per second is nothing but output or output power kinetic energy upon second is nothing but input power or kinetic energy supplied okay this is about summary so far we have done all the theory one more is left for numerical problem general instructions right how we can solve the numerical problems easily i have already told in the um, first class of uh, this chapter itself write down the given data any every time i have been saying since since first unit when we started the lecture and online through lms system i have been saying repeatedly write down the given data correctly with patience try to draw inlet and outlet velocity triangles you can see here inlet velocity triangle outlet velocity triangle you have to write clearly identify alpha and beta if the angle of deflection of jet at outlet is given then compute beta as beta is equal to 180 minus of angle of deflection if angle of deflection is given then you have to identify 
and uh, calculate the magnitude of beta if directly it is given as uh, uh, jet angle beta at outlet tip while leaving the vane then directly you can take that angle otherwise you have to subtract the given deflection angle from 180 these are all general uh, instruction if you understand this if you understand this general instructions then you will not commit error otherwise error may be creeped in right that's why be careful make very clear your uh, mind that what i should do when i start doing the problem numerical problem if discharge at outlet is radial then beta is equal to 180 degrees otherwise compute beta means if in the problem it is given radial then beta should be taken equal to 190 otherwise you have to compute beta use inlet velocity triangle for computation of vw1 and vr1 that is velocity of whirl and velocity of flow and then find theta that is the vane angle at inlet or entry vw1 we we have derived is equal to v1 cos alpha vf1 is equal to v1 sin alpha if frictional losses is not given then assume smooth plate then we can immediately write vr1 is equal to vr2 u1 is equal to u2 that is equal to u use inlet velocity triangle for computation of phi use outlet velocity triangle for the computation of phi using sin rule as vr2 divided by sin 180 minus beta is equal to u2 divided by sin of beta minus phi then find vw2 using outlet velocity triangle trigonometric rule all are based on trigonometry which you have studied in 11th standard perhaps i have not gone through the syllabus of 10th uh, standard or 9th standard in this uh, present context or present scenario how they have made the syllabus i have not gone through you must be aware of it it must have trigonometry must have entered in uh, 10th standard itself when we were studying and uh, your senior friends were studying till one decade it was in 11th only now it might have included i don't know if it is so please uh, uh, you let me know i will also become aware instead of searching okay next we will start with the numerical problem without any difficulty very simple just you follow me you will be very much comfortable let us start either question number 4 question number 5 jo likha hai you need not have to worry because every time it cannot be typed therefore you will take copy paste copy paste in that case some of the images when we put you cannot change anything because it will be in pdf especially university question paper which we download from internet Uh, many times we can uh, convert it into uh, pdf to word form and then we can change unnecessary why we have to do donkey work what is there in that number whether it is question number 4 or question number 2 or question number 3 uh, hardly matter right a jet of water having a velocity of 40 meters per second strikes a curved vane which is moving with a velocity of 20 meters per second what do you mean by that a jet of water okay the jet, i will complete the jet makes an angle of 30 degrees with the direction of motion of the vane at inlet and leaves at an angle of 90 degrees to the direction of motion of vane at outlet draw the velocity triangles at inlet and outlet and determine the vane angles at inlet and outlet so that the water enters and leaves the vane without shock is it clear what he has given the water enters and leaves the vane without shock means immediately it should strike to your mind u1 is equal to u2 vr1 is equal to vr2 
immediately it should strike to your mind okay then one by one we will see first of all you have to write down the data in the form of symbols velocity of jet given v1 is equal to 40 meters per second that is also known as sometimes absolute velocity don't get confused velocity absolute velocity one and the same in some questions on some question paper it may appear absolute velocity you need not have to keep on thinking about it these are all the changes that can be seen in the different numerical problems when it was set by different teachers that's why i always used to suggest at least half a dozen question paper half a dozen minimum minimum in fact better is 8 to 10 question papers okay at least half a dozen will do serve the purpose velocity of when u1 is equal to 20 meters per second angle made by the jet at inlet all foils equal to 30 degrees angle made by the jet at outlet is equal to 90 degree beta is equal to 180 minus 90 is equal to 90 degree only now u1 is equal to u2 is equal to u is equal to 20 meters per second because vein is without shock it leaves the vein water enters and leaves the vein without shock that's why u1 is equal to u2 is equal to u vein angles at inlet and outlet we are required to find out the symbol you have to write immediately theta and phi from triangle bcd we have here it is clearly written the figure you also write and practice it it is not at all difficult and now technical technical part for analysis of this problem given we have done right now it is your part to do the calculations because it is geometry of the figure and 11th standard calculations right so wherever i wherever difficulty i will help in solving the numerical problem okay now we'll start the solution vein angle at inlet theta is to be computed for that inlet velocity triangle you draw clearly as it is written u1 vw1 okay vr1 uh, sorry vf1 this inclined from u1 to this tip of the vein vr1 then naturally this will become theta this will become alpha this is absolute velocity given vf1 is to be found out first vw1 minus u1 component until unless you find out you cannot find out vf1 so one by one we have to do so first of all what is to be computed from the figure you take that trigonometric ratio what we want theta from where theta we can get from this triangle we can get the theta is it not therefore tan theta is equal to vf1 upon vw1 minus u1 first this part you have to calculate so vw1 is equal to v1 cos alpha that is equal to v1 is given 40 meters per second alpha is given 30 degrees therefore cos 30 cos 30 is equal to 0.5 0.5 multiplied by 40 is equal to 20 meters per second. Am I right? Yes. Certain things you have to calculate orally. Should not use calculator. If you use the, for everything known thing, calculator, how much time you will have to consume? First of all, you have to operate 40, 4, 0 multiplied by cos 3, 0 and enter. Then you will get the two if at all you have entered correctly value you will get correct answer otherwise wrong answer vf1 is equal to v1 sin alpha 40 sin 30 that will be equal to 34.64 meters per second u1 is equal to 20 meters per second because u is equal to u1 why why yes you are right smooth entry and exit by the jet of water through vein is smooth therefore tan theta is equal to 20 divided by 34.64 minus 20 is equal to 1.366 if you convert that into angle 
you will get theta is equal to 53.8 degrees. You can leave it as it is or you can convert that into minutes and seconds. In fraction of second you can uh, uh, calculate uh, from the calculator and you can write down with minutes, seconds also. Otherwise you leave as it is. It is up to you. Okay. Is it clear all the steps here? First problem seems we you understand clearly and solve it slowly at home. Same. You see the solution and work it out on paper drawing uh, inlet velocity triangle, outlet velocity triangle. So it is not yet complete. Just from inlet triangle we found out first part that is theta. Is it clear? Yes. We will go to the next slide. Now outlet velocity triangle you have to make even inlet velocity triangle also is drawn in this slide also. You have to find out phi. You have to find out phi. You have to find out phi. Cos phi is equal to from this triangle since it has been told in the numerical problem it is the beta is 90 degree. 90 degree is taken. Phi is denoted here. V R 2 here. U 2 here. Since it is uh, beta, VW2 must be equal to 0. That you must remember concept. Concept you have to remember. When beta, when beta is equal to 90 degrees, that is right angle at the outlet tip of the vein, VW2 must be equal to 0. If you remember this property or concept, no problem at all. Very easy. That's why slowly you think and grasp and recall from your memory what you have learnt from the class and then if you solve the numerical problem, one numerical problem in detail, then no problem at all. We will complete this problem and stop for today's class, okay? It should not be overdose. Then everything you may forget. So, cos phi is equal to u2 by vr2. Very simple trigonometry. Cos phi up adjacent by Adjacent by opposite sign, opposite by hypotenuse. It is adjacent by opposite nahi. Adjacent. You see, you people should listen very carefully and attentively. Teacher may spell out first intentionally or uh, oversightedly. That is not your problem. Your problem should be concentratedly you have to listen to the teacher. If teacher... Uh, says wrongly, immediately you should uh, uh, open the, uh, unmute the microphone and say, Sir, uh, this is uh, uh, hypotenuse you should have said, you have said opposite. That is known as attentiveness. That I want. My, I intentionally say some, sometimes wrongly. It doesn't mean that we don't know or anything. That sort of uh, argument and discussion should not be there among you also and among with teacher also. So, you have to concentratedly listen. So, cos theta is nothing but, uh, sorry, cos phi is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent is U2. Hypotenuse is VR2. Therefore, therefore, you can get the value of phi from this equation. For that, U2, we know U2 is nothing but equal to, U2 is nothing but equal to U1 because it is smooth. Vr2 can be computed using inlet velocity triangle as sin theta is equal to Vf1 by Vr1. Vr1 is equal to 24.8 meters per second. Since the vein is smooth, Vr1 is equal to Vr2. That means this inlet velocity triangle is also have to be used along with outlet velocity triangle when we are computing phi. That is another second concept. So step by step if you do, you will not miss anything. That's why these two velocity triangles should be written very legibly as it is done here and clearly. Cos phi is equal to u2 divided by vr2. Therefore 20 divided by 24.8 that you will get 0 0.807. Convert it to get phi in angle. 36.2 degrees, keep it as it is. 
or further you make it fine by converting into 0.8 0.2 you convert into uh, minutes and seconds you can keep 36 degrees so many minutes so many seconds or keep it as it is in degrees so this problem is complete i hope as per the data asked we will stop here continue for another three four problems in the next class okay please immediately you start practicing at home for different uh, numerical problems please don't ignore not only our subject in all subjects you have to be become perfect by understanding the concept of the theory part when once you understand the concept of the theory part then i don't think you will face any problem during examination if examination is not held you have to write all the assignments which are given multiple choice question test and other homework which was uh, which will be uploaded and asked you in the announcement forum you have to carefully regularly watch the announcement forum whatever work is given you have to do since it is a just uh, um, uh, um, just, just beginning of this uh, chapter uh, we might not have uploaded immediately let us give some time for you to digest and practice at home please do keep practice in all subjects okay thank you have a good day